I'm Coyote Peterson, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up a leech bite. Or 12. Look at that. They are all over me. And all but one leech is now on my arm. Now the best way to remove a leech is to just use the edge of your finger. And what I want to do is softly slide the anterior sucker off of the wound. And look at that leech. Oh, that one just popped off. Oop, and that one popped off too. Look at that. Well, they are done eating. Look at how big that leech is. It is full of blood. And look at the blood just pouring out of my hand at this point. Wow. That leech basically said, okay, I'm done eating. Back into the water with me. What you want to do is just gently slide your finger over the anterior sucker. There you go. Look at that. I got the leech to pop off. And then I can just pop the posterior sucker off and plop back into the water with that leech. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that one hurts. Look at that. You can see the blood just seeping out. Uh, there's four of them right there. This is going to be the bloodiest spot. You guys ready? One, two. Well, there you have it. The final leech. You guys ready? Dinner's over, buddy. And it's all about the amount of anticoagulant that actually went into my hand. I may be bleeding for hours at this point. Okay, so uh, at this point, I have uh, pretty much done everything that we need to do with the leeches. As you can see, my hand is completely covered in blood and leeches. Look at that. It is literally like a shark attack scene. That is crazy. Wow, has a lot of blood. Welcome back everyone. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is show you how to clean up a leech bite. Look at my arm, totally gross, right? Now, I must note up front that I am not a medical professional. If you were ever bitten by any animal, even something as simple as a leech, seek medical attention if you feel you need it. What I'm gonna show you today is the basic first aid for addressing a leech bite. I have 12 of them, so this is a little extreme. And as you can see, I am dripping blood absolutely everywhere. Now I have a few simple things here with me I brought out into the field. Hydrogen peroxide, band-aids, wet wipes, and Neosporin. Oh, and because this is Dragon Tails, some Ninja Turtles band-aids. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Donatello. You know it. I also have some paper towels and some water. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is wash off some of this drying blood. Okay, I wanna get this blood. Oh man, look at that. It is just like coagulated all over my fingers. And my fingers aren't cut. They're just small little incisions where the leech actually bit me. There is so much blood all over my hands and arm, it's tough to see where the actual wounds are located. At this point, I have a lot of the residual blood cleaned off my hands and arm, but look at that. You can see where the exact bite zones are as the blood is continuing to bubble out. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And my next step, gosh, it just won't stop, is to use basic wet ones. Now these are antibacterial, and what this will do from an initial first go is just kill any of the bacteria that is right on the surface. You can also use alcohol pads or iodine for this. Ah, that stings. And that's good. I want all the germs that came out of the leeches, suckers, and saliva to begin to break down. Man, that's crazy. Look at that. Look at that one right there. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to is hydrogen peroxide. I like hydrogen peroxide because it will actually break down the enzymes in the leech's saliva. It also fizzes and kills all the bacteria around the site of the wound. Now, I have used hydrogen peroxide on every single wound that I've ever gotten when out in the wild. Knock on wood, so far I have never gotten an infection. So now, I have antibacterial on there, as well as hydrogen peroxide. And it definitely seems that the bleeding has slowed down from the hydrogen peroxide. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take little dabs of 
paper towel and stick them over each one of the bite sites. Now what the paper towel is doing is forcing the blood to stay in one spot and that will ultimately help it coagulate and clot. And if you guys are wondering if I'm in any kind of pain right now, absolutely none. It feels like nothing. So I'm gonna let these little dabs of paper towel sit there for about five minutes and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now the next thing that I'm gonna use is Neosporin, multi-action ointment. And this one specifically kills 99% of germs. Let's hope that it works. I use Neosporin on absolutely everything. Not a paid advertisement. No, this is not a paid advertisement. I just always carry Neosporin. Neosporin honestly should sponsor us because we go through tubes of this all the time. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of blood still coming out and I will bleed for several hours, so I have to keep changing the bandages, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, the bleeding has definitely slowed, and at this point, I think it's time to put on some Band-Aids. And because this is Dragon Tails, we're gonna use Ninja Turtle Band-Aids. Look at that, Raphael, the red one. Perfect for all this blood. All right, here we go. I'm just going to pop that Band-Aid right there over the bite. I'm sure you were thinking to yourself, are those tiny little Band-Aids really going to stop all that bleeding? No, no they aren't. Well guys, I tried to make the Ninja Turtle Band-Aids work, but unfortunately, the bleeding just is not stopping. So, we're gonna have to go to plan B, which is using gauze and medical tape. Here's how you do this. Now, in a normal situation, if you had been bitten by a single leech, Neosporin and Band-Aids should do the trick. Again, keep in mind that my arm was in that container with leeches for over 20 minutes. So these bites are pretty massive. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this gauze is make a compress, and this will be a temporary barrier until the bleeding stops enough for me to put on the Band-Aids. I'm gonna wrap my whole hand real tight. Now, the tighter I make this, the better it's gonna be. Now, you'll notice that the bite up here has stopped, and the one on the underarm also has stopped. So that will be a perfect spot for a Ninja Turtle Band-Aid. Look at that. All right, well at this point, I am pretty well bandaged up. Now I do want to keep an eye on these bites for the next 24 hours to make sure that no sort of infection is forming. But I think ultimately, I'm gonna be just fine. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild, don't get eaten alive by leeches. We'll see you on the next adventure. If somehow you missed eaten alive by leeches, make sure to go back and watch the full episode so you can stand witness as I submerge my arm into a container of bloodthirsty leeches. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Dragon Tales.